Hello everyone, welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today I would like to share the some powerful modeling tools of 3ds Max. By combination with D5 Render, you can create great results. Let's start the tutorial. The first one is the carpet. Look at the current carpet, it is so boring. Let's make the carpet with folds. We need to create the plane first. Then increase the length and width segments to 100. And apply the displace modifier. Then add the black and white texture map that includes cloth folds. Increase the strength as you like. Apply shell modifier to add some thickness. Then apply turbo smooth modifier to be more smooth. Then replace with the old one. Then connect with D5 render and apply the material. It is better to use cloth material template. After some adjustments, we will get this result. The second one is the basin on stone. To create a stone base, we start with a box. Increase the box segments to 20. Then apply the noise modifier. Increase the strength a bit. We can also add fractal effect. Then apply the turbo smooth modifier. Then apply FFD modifier and adjust the shape. For the basin, we start with the circle shape. Adjust the size as you want. Then copy the circle and increase the size. Attach each other. Then apply the cross section modifier to get base frame. Apply the surface modifier to get mesh surface. Copy and transform the circle to get the desired model. Then apply the Turbo Smooth modifier. Fought the basin cap. We start with the circle. Delete the unwanted segments. Scale down a bit. Draw the base shape and attach. Then apply the lathe modifier. Change the alignment to minimum. Apply Turbo Smooth modifier. We will get this result. For the water tab, we start with the rectangle. Convert to editable spline and adjust the shape. Apply the sweep modifier and change the section to cylinder. Adjust the radius. Change the interpolation value to 1. Apply edit poly modifier and adjust the shape. And then apply the turbo smooth modifier. We are now ready to connect with D5 render. In D5 Render, we just need to apply preset materials. Finally, we will get this result. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Please subscribe and get notified.